Oki Kipa and Dobra Doshli. Oh hi gang and welcome. We're harvesting the last of our squashes and it's really out of necessity. They're not perfectly ripe but they are split and being attacked by God knows what little critters all climbing in there and sliming all over the place. So if we want any harvest out of these squashes at all, it's got to be now. Bok, I'm Mandio. This is Grow, Make, Cook and welcome to my garden. I grew up in Australia in a permaculture family, but after we got married, Mr O and I moved here to his home country of Croatia. I am a passionate and hands-on homemaker and gardener, and I love life's simple pleasures. So join me on my journey, and together we can learn to grow, make and cook. This is the third week in October, or Listopad. Not a bad harvest, really. Now, I love these made into soup, but Mr. O doesn't. So we compromised and I'm making soup. Now, if I'm bothering to make soup for one, I'm gonna really do it the way I like it. So I'm cutting lots of fresh thyme and fresh oregano, and we'll make this a herby pumpkin-y treat. Well, it's butternut squash, so I often think of them as interchangeable with pumpkin, although the flavour is just a little bit different. I'm also going to take a sprig of fresh rosemary and we'll get a whole lot of fresh chives. So, the ingredients for my soup are really simple. I've got a little bit of water on, just enough that it will cover about a kilo of my diced up squash. And I will also dice up at about the same size, one medium potato, a large onion, and I will chuck in a little bit of stock and then my herbs and cook. Once it's all softened up and cooked together, I'm going to add a splash of milk. I'll show you in a sec. Now that it's nice and thick and all of my vegetables are soft, when you push a piece of pumpkin or potato against the side, um, you can see that it breaks up nice and easily. So now that that's nice and soft, we're going to switch from my stirrer to my masher and as I mash I'm turning this right down onto the lowest heat I'm just adding a drizzle of milk just to cream it up nicely mmm it's smelling so good already to me. Just here are my leeks and I'm in the middle of doing something which is <laughs> I guess akin to mulching. So instead of building up a mulch layer around my leeks in order for them to blanch. Now when you eat a leek or when you buy a leek at the shop you always look for a leek with lots of nice sweet white bit and in order to get that white bit you have to restrict the amount of light that gets to it. So because I don't want to spend lots and lots and lots of mulch piling up around these I have a little trick. I get some bits of PVC pipe of different sizes for the different sizes of leeks and then I just give it a chop to about the right size she says confidently oh. and then once you've got 
your little piece of PVC pipe. You simply gather up the leaves of your leek, thread him through. It's a bit like threading wool through a very large needle. And then gently, gently down over the top so that then the PVC pipe pushed down a little bit into the ground now protects the entire bottom part of the leek from the light and it'll get nice and white and delicious. Got a few more to do though. Well, the season definitely is over for my sunflowers. The seeds are all showing. I've collected some and that means the end for these glorious summer beauties. However, they don't have to go to waste. I've been pulling the heads off and saving them popping them up on a little tray just up here for the birds and then I know it's not very pretty but the birds don't seem to mind I just pop them open with the seeds all scattered about on a tray here which I've got some water nearby in a little bowl so they can come and have a drink and these ones that I put out the other day well the seeds are mostly gone so I'm calling it a success Autumn is also a really good time to build up your compost heaps. So what I have been doing here is cutting back a lot of the blackberries, young dogwoods I don't want, anything that looked like it was overgrown grass, just about anything really, and chopping it all up into smallish pieces and piling it on my compost heap. Now, the reason that it's so good to do this now is that over winter, when you're not coming out much and you're not using the garden, it's got all that time and a lot of moisture. So compost needs water in order to break down. Water, air, green material and brown material. So if you think about the composition, you need stuff with nitrogen and stuff with carbon to make the chemistry work. And you also need air and water to help the fungi and the bacteria do their job. So over winter you get a lot of rain, sometimes you get a lot of snow, and all of that builds up, seeps down and makes it nice and moist so that all those bacteria can do their job. So if you've never made a compost heap before, autumn is a great time to start. over cold and cloudy so I think we're gonna call it a day today if you like what we're doing please remember to like the video if you're new to the channel please subscribe and if you want notifications use the bell icon below and until next time then Dovi Genya